Okay, so uh, this week uh, is going to be a little bit different. I've not had a chance to go out this week. Um, I've done my foot in, so I've uh, not been able to uh, walk. Still a bit sore, so hopefully I'll be able to get out this coming week. Bit gutted, really, because we had all that snow, so I could have had some nice snow capped mountain shops, but there you go. Shit happens. So, what I thought I'd do today was a bit of uh, editing, uh, especially with HDR photography and how I do it. But the idea is I'm going to pick an old image from a vlog I done a couple of months ago. And sometimes when you do vlogs, you don't use some of the images. So what I'm going to try and do here is revisit that image, uh, the one I've got up here. It's of a little island, tiny little island in a lagoon. Um, has something about it. I think it possibly could work in black and white. I think it looked really good in the fog. So maybe when it's misty at some point, I'll go back and uh, take an image of that in the mist. So what I'm gonna do is try and work on this image by using um, three images. Uh, for HDR. So I'm going to go into Photomatics Pro 7 and try and find where I put these images. I think it was a little higher. Okay, so I'm going to bring these three images, import them into Photomatics. So here we are. Um, this is the HDR image. Um, on the right here, you've got different sort of HDR images you can look at, um, like so. That doesn't look too bad, does it? Natural, if I bring the strength up. Or shall I go detailed? Uh, there's plenty of different choices on it. I think I'm going to go with detailed. There's something about that. Now I want to adjust the strength just to balance the image out really. Um, I'm probably going to crop in on this. Um, so I like the reflection there. White. So you can adjust all these anyway, the brightness or whatever. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with that and work on that. Um, like I said, I'm gonna crop in on this. Um, I like this tree here, which I can see here, and, uh, and this part of the island here. I'm gonna really crop into this and try and highlight them. Okay, so next finish. Done. And I'm gonna save that in the in a file, little island. Save. Okay, so I've uh, brought this into Photomatics. I'm gonna do some adjustments here. Gonna crop this image uh, right from there where the tree is. Uh, gonna bring that down to about that might be interesting there with a the branch. Gonna lose this branch over here, and uh, yeah, I think that's good enough. Um, gonna add a bit of detail into this with the sharpening, like so. I think um, I create a mask here and put a radial gradient on here just so I can bring more exposure on the center part with the trees. Bring the exposures up a bit, not too much. Um, I'm gonna put some dehaze in there just to blend it nicely and a bit of sharpness. Like so. Um, 
ignore this photomatics here um, this is a trial version so uh, obviously I'm just trying to show you what's going on here so ignore that photomatics um, yeah uh, I'm just gonna bring the highlights down a bit more like so I think that's okay um, lens correction here tick the both uh, I'm going to go into Silver FX Pro now uh, for some black and white. So I'm going to go edit in Silver FX over here. Okay, so in Silver FX on the left here. You can get different images to work with. If you go through them all here, see which one's going to work the best by selecting different ones. We'll just see what works here. Full dynamic. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go for full spectrum here. It's just something cleaner about it, I think. Um, do some adjustments over here. Dynamic brightness. Structure. I'm gonna, yep, yeah, I'm gonna apply that and then work with that. I think. So I've applied that, and I'll put it back into Lightroom. So, like you see, you get all them different resets on the uh, left of the screen there to choose from. So okay. Um, I don't really like the white sky, but I've got no choice in here. This is just really a demonstration. Um, once again, I'll just bring them highlights down a bit over here. Um, I'm going to put some effects on it and uh, put some magenting around the edges there, like so. And that's it really, uh, that's a quick way of showing you how to use these programs. So yeah, there you go, um, I like the tree over here, um, I've sort of gone in on here and ex all the exposures, the eye is drawn over here by putting a vigent, whatever you say, vigenting around the edges there, so your eye is pulled in there like the reflections over there not a masterpiece by any means but you know uh, it's better than what it was uh, like I said it'd be nice to have had a darker sky a bit of mist in there to really uh, make the image look a lot better and uh, yeah excuse the photomatics um, over here like I said it's a trial version so there you go that's a quick demonstration of HDR and how I've gone back and made an old image I wasn't keen on before and tried to rework it and uh, I'd advise you doing that sometimes is uh, go back to an image if you feel it's not working go back to another uh, go back to it another day with a fresh mind and uh, you know it might work so there you go that's a demonstration of how I edit and do HDR so I hope it's interesting to you and the uh, software that I've used here is Photomatics um, it's HDR Photomatics, um, the NIC software, Silver Effects, and Lightroom. So that's it, and I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.